Okay, so this one's about the Dray's test. Now, you might not have heard the name, but you've probably at least heard something about it. Anyways, things that are going to be put on human skin, um, or that you're going to come in contact with, things like cosmetics or personal care products like ointments or anything like that, um, it has to be tested for safety, and so it has to be tested for uh, biological activity, um, and instead of testing it on humans, which of course would be unethical, they historically have tested it on rabbits. Now, rabbits which were specifically bred as lab animals, um, yeah, were used, and they still are used today. The Dray's test is still going on now, although it is uh, losing favor, and just because of political, uh, I guess, political correctness or, or political pressure or, or uh, public pressure to avoid doing this thing, which can be thought of as torture or whatever to the animals. The reason why they use rabbits is that they don't have tear ducts, and so they can't clear the chemical out of their eye. And so they would take a piece of, you know, a bit of, um, I don't know, deodorant or, or uh, I don't know, any ointment that you might put on your skin, and they would rub it in the eye of a rabbit and observe the uh, biological effects of that. Anyways, today they're moving away from this test, um, and the way they can do that is by using tissue culture, and so they use things like... Um, either animal or human um, tissue cells that are kept alive in uh, petri dishes. And so it's not really a biological, well it's sort of, a, I guess it is a biological test, but it's not an uh, in vivo test, it's an in vitro test. Meaning that today if they are not using a live animal to test the materials on, that's in vivo then uh, they do it on tissue culture in glassware, a petri dish, and that's called in vitro testing. Anyways, uh, some debate about whether in vitro testing is as good or as effective as the in vivo testing using the Dray's test. Um, yeah, so, interesting bit of history, I guess. Alright, that's it. Bye for now.